Matt Sand and Bridget Wheelock are preparing to take a little stroll on Lake Huron's Saginaw Bay. The Central Michigan University research team is one of more than a dozen from the U.S. and Canada that recently ventured onto the frozen surfaces of all five Great Lakes. It's all part of an effort to better understand what's happening in the lakes during the long, frigid months when they're often covered partially or completely with ice. All of these different components of the ecosystem that we always measure during the summertime, and we have for, you know, for basically forever, but we've, we really don't know what's, what's taking place out there in the wintertime at all. Winter is changing across the Great Lakes region, and scientists want to know what that will mean for its fish and how it will affect long-standing problems, such as toxic algae and invasive species. So researchers in February took water samples from beneath the ice and measured characteristics such as light and nutrient levels. We got everything that we set out to get. Um, group as a whole did very well. Experts say it's important to learn more now, as climate change brings milder temperatures and eventually may make ice cover a rarity. Three, two, point, four, three. We can't use the past to predict the future anymore because it is so dynamic at this point. Which is why the data gathering effort known as the Winter Grab could be so consequential. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Standish, Michigan.